Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. I'm Sunny with Sunny's Designs on a Dime and today I'm gonna to walk you through my master bedroom. Um, it's in the process of being done. So I'm gonna show you a little bit today and then um, I'm gonna go this afternoon, well, later this evening and pick up my flooring for my wall that I'm gonna do, but I'll show you a little sample of it. I'm gonna give you kind of somewhat of what it looks like now and then kind of how I'm changing it and so forth. So um, anyhow, that's what this tutorial is all about today. So let me give you a turnaround here and and tell you all about it so um, let me turn the camera around actually let me get moved first because I want to show you these curtains because these curtains are what I had started with first and I had a comforter set that was black and white and it had the Eiffel Tower on it and it had Paris and all that kind of stuff on it. it was really really cute and I got rid of that decided to change I wanted something not so it, it was pretty and I loved it but it was so much black and white so um and I had a comforter my room originally was very western but I've kind of changed out of that and so you're going to kind of see and I'll explain this as we go but anyhow let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the curtains um these were the original curtains from the the um Eiffel Tower comforter so anyhow okay so here's here's what they were um these were the curtains that I had for when I was doing the Eiffel Tower, which was all black and white. You know, as you can see, nice, beautiful ones. I have one, two, three, four windows here, plus a sliding glass window here. So, and as you can see, I have quite a lot of windows. So, anyhow, this black and white was curtain is being replaced um, and stuff but that's kind of what I had on all the windows prior to this I'm gonna kind of step back and see if you can get a whole big view without tripping and falling and making a fool out of myself okay so so there it is um, and they were beautiful and it looked really really nice and I really liked it but uh, yeah I get bored very easily so anyhow so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn you over to my bed which I just bought this spring there's my bed and stuff and my whole intentions about the bed when I bought it was I'm gonna whitewash it and I'm really glad that I haven't done that yet because the the back wall that you're seeing see where the curtains are and and they're kind of a uh, a turquoise but they're a real light shade of turquoise anyhow that whole wall is going to be getting covered in flooring and let me give you this sample here on okay so I want you to see that wall okay so the sample is this okay that's now what the back wall and it'll go this way there you go so that's what the back wall, that whole back wall is going to be now, okay? Um, so you won't see brown anymore, and you're going to see this on the wall. Yes, this is flooring, and I bought it from Home Depot, um, but I absolutely love it, and I don't care that it's flooring, so I'm going to put it on there. So um, I went ahead and bought a new comforter set, and I got that at big lots and so there's the comforter set and as you can see the pretty colors in it and stuff and the, the kind of the soft tones of turquoise i wanted something fresh and vibrant and cool and because right now we're having really we're having three digit temperatures up here the smoke is hugely thick up here because of all the forest fires and stuff so I wanted something soft and soothing and kind of cool and and fun and and inviting so I'm glad I didn't whitewash the the headboard yet because I think with the wall that I'm going to do, it's gonna look really cool. So anyhow, so we'll be starting that hopefully maybe in the next day or so. So anyhow, and then we just put in, I'm gonna take you over here. Um, we just put in this chandelier last night. I had a ceiling fan in here. 
Yeah, it was okay, but it didn't give off enough light. So we just put this in a couple days ago and it made a huge difference with all the lighting. So I absolutely love it. And what a big difference it made. So um, I'm real happy about that. And then I got a really cool, um, we have a called a classifieds here. And um, I picked up, and it's what it is, is a, and I'm going to turn it. What it is is like a local yard sale and stuff where people can put things on it that they want to get rid of, but they don't want to give it rid of it at yard sale prices. So I picked up this, and it was kind of a light tan color and chalk color, and then I put chalk paint white, a uh, cashmere white on it from Heritage, and I absolutely love it. It turned out beautiful, and she got all the, the lady that I bought it from, all the pools came from Hobby Lobby, which I love the old-fashioned pools, and then I just kind of decorated it from there. I had this beautiful mirror that I had out in my living room. You'll If you look at some of my other tutorials, you'll see it in there. Oh, sorry, that's my dog. I have it shut so she can't come in here, and then I have some of my crystals in here to add some colors and some pictures and and so forth so um that's my that's my find and i'm kind of excited about it so anyhow so then the other project that we're taking on with all of this too and as you can see the brown walls here that's what i'm having a dis hard decision on what to do with yet and i will eventually figure that out once the the main wall which is this wall here is all done in that flooring. Once this is all done, then um, I'm able to make a decision on what I want to do. So, and then I want to show you this too. This is a wreath from Big Lots. It's absolutely beautiful. It's made out of wood um, that, you know, when they skin it and stuff and peel it, I guess is what I'm wanting to say. Anyhow, it's really pretty. It was $25. So I have I bought this one and then I decided I needed one for the other wall on the other side um, over here. As you can see, it's not up yet. So I will put one there. Sorry, sorry for the dog, sorry. I have a little wiener dog so they get excited about everything. So anyhow, and then this mounted piece that I have these beautiful arch pieces or corbels if you want to call them or whatever I got those at a store that's no longer in business um but I can't think of what it's what its name is and you might have one but if I think of it I'll put it on here but anyhow I have two of them and I absolutely love them so I have to do something so those will pop out as well and then I got this mirror from Hobby Lobby absolutely loved it did a little whitewashing to it so it would be a little more softer and stuff so and as you can see I have lots of candles around now don't panic everybody I want you to know I'm a big firm believer in um, candles with battery operating candles and ones that have timers because I'm all about you know not I forget to blow them out so these are all set on a six hour timer which is fantastic for me and it works for me so now I'm going to take you into the next major project we're going to do as well is the master bathroom and it's rather icky <laughs> so anyhow um, I don't know if you can see okay see up above the shower curtain that is wall we found out yesterday is mildew they put sheetrock up, but they didn't put the sheetrock that was supposed to be in bathrooms. So it's crumbling. So I have this curtain because my black and white thing, you remember, was the Paris thing. And so, of course, you know, I had to take it on into the bathroom. However, I have totally gutted the bathroom. We have been working on gutting it, and then we're hoping to redo the wall and stuff. But, um, you know, time that's all coming so and then i'll replace this but i wanted to show you these really cool buckets now i got these at walmart and i had a lady who loved the ones that i did in my other bathroom and i got those at walmart and i got at these at walmart and i had them when i was sorting out my clothes because i was going to turn in my guest bedroom into a walk-in closet and then my daughter's boyfriend moved in with us because of because he's been really really sick lately so 
Anyhow, this is what I did with them. I had them mounted on here and I absolutely love it. Great for toilet paper. I'll eventually change, probably change this one into towels, you know, so it will be available, you know, for towels and stuff. For some reason, it wants to go out of focus and leave this one as toilet paper. Then I have a little automatic battery operated candle as well. Um, the one thing I absolutely hate, check this out. Check out the blue toilet. Does it not say, and the shower is the same way. It's nasty, I don't know if you can see it. There it is, a little bit over the bowl. <laughs> Yuck, ugly. But now get this, here's a more updated, there I am, hello. <laughs> here's a more updated, you know, mirror, and of course, a more updated sink. And then you have the ugly blue toilet. Yeah, and the ugly flooring, blah, so. Anyhow, so that's kind of what I'm working on. And like I said, I hope to be able to get the, pick up the flooring tonight and maybe get started on the wall, which I'm very, very excited about. I can't wait and stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done one, but I've been really crazy busy with my husband. Um, some of you may know, some of you don't. My husband has stage four prostate cancer and he just had surgery last Wednesday. They were thinking that he was also had bladder cancer, but we just got the test results back yesterday and he does not have bladder cancer. The, the piece that is on the bladder is actually caused from his um, prostate cancer. So he is right now in eight weeks of every day, eight weeks, and we travel an hour away to have um, radiation done. So that's why my summer has been crazy. I normally do lots of videos and want to do lots of videos and stuff, but it hasn't worked out that way. So um, anyhow, so if you do, if you're married, my highly recommend, it doesn't matter, they don't check for prostate cancer until you're 50. My husband was 48 when he was diagnosed, for actually 47 and a half when he was diagnosed. Um, most insurance will not cover for you to have a prostate examination to check um, if you're not 50. We have saved six of our friends by having them insist and paying out of the pocket to make sure that they didn't have prostate cancer. Two of them, three of them had prostate cancer in early stages, were able to have treatments and are completely cured of it. Um, and the other three didn't. So, you know, three out of six wasn't too bad. And the three out of six, you know, were very lucky and caught it early. So I highly, highly, highly encourage you to have your husband's prostate checked. Um, don't be in a situation like we are. Um, unfortunately, he we just, you know, I almost lost him. He had kidney failure and that's the only way we knew that he was really, really sick. Um, and he teaches up at, the, at our local college. So this was pretty devastating for us and has financially been devastating as well. So if you are married, or you have a significant other, please encourage them to go have their prostate checked. It is never too early and never, uh, it's never too late to, to try and check and stuff like that. It's, it's so important because it has really turned our lives around. And my daughter at the time was only 13 and, you know, it's really hard on the children. So you've got to protect yourself and your family. So I highly encourage you to encourage your husband or fiance or your significant other to do that. I am also a two-time cancer survivor. I have had thyroid cancer and had that taken care of, and that was a real lengthy surgery and recovery, but I am considered clean from that. And then I had beginning stages of ovarian, and most of you women know ovarian cancer is not curable, but lucky enough, we found mine early enough. So I highly, highly promote women to get checked on a regular basis. And same with men. Don't take your doctor saying, you know, you don't need it done until you're 50 because you'd be surprised on how many people who are in their late forties are finding out they have prostate cancer. So anyhow, that's my, that's my little preach for the day.
and stuff but i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope you'll t tune in to some more i'll keep you updated um well if we go tonight to pick up the boxes i will kind of give you a, hopefully be able to give you a little preview of that tomorrow but um otherwise keep watching thank you for becoming um uh, you know liking my my um channel you know i'm in the humble beginnings and i'm not professional at this but i want everybody to know that it's okay it's okay that you were not i'm not cutting and editing and all of that stuff that's okay um that anybody can do this we're all in the same boat we all want to learn how to do things on a budget and stuff and you know that's what i'm here for and i'm just hoping to help everybody else de be able to decorate on you know on a small budget. The wall is gonna cost me like $221, but if we ever sold the house, it's easy to take down, you know? Um, it's just gonna make a world of difference. I can't wait until it's done to show all of you. So anyhow, God bless to you all. Keep tuning in, tell your friends. Let's see if we can hit 50 um, and stuff, and I will keep bringing in more tutorials. I'm getting, I'm trying to get more in and stuff and um but give me some time and patience and i will do the best i can so anyhow thank you guys have a great day and i will hopefully see you tomorrow thanks thanks for tuning in see you later bye